Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. Steve's finally back, and I'm not letting you or any other model take the spotlight. It's only me and the crow. So you better back off, short goose. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? You got some backup? Alright, flock of seagies. You win this time, but I'll be back. I always come back. And use a bitch. Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here we have another pose video. Uh, so in this pose video, essentially we're going to be taking a look at three different poses of this mobile suit, which is the real gray tall geese. Um, now I love this kit, and I, I can just tell you off the bat, this is a fun kit to pose. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the first pose. And here is the first pose. Uh, so essentially what I wanted to do is um, you know, utilize that hand that has the bent wrist uh, because it's, it's pretty unique. You know, there's not too many uh, kits out there that has a, um, you know, a, a, a fixed, you know, kind of wrist like that. Uh, you know, a few kits do. I think like the Amazing Exia does. Um, and I think there's like the Goose on... No, maybe not the goose on, but I, I know there's a couple of other kits that have like the same kind of bent wrist. But I think it's really uh, cool to utilize that for any kind of bladed weapons. So I was like, you know what? I could just see this suit um, just dashing in space and just going for uh, that last, you know, that last attempt attack uh, on the enemy mobile suit and probably just like you know stabbing right in the cockpit. Um, so overall, I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's, it's probably not the one I would put on my shelf. Uh, but ultimately, I think it looks really good, especially with the uh, the open thrusters in the back. So let's go ahead and get into the second pose. Okay, and here it is, uh, the second pose. So, um, I just wanted to utilize the Dober rifle. Uh, I think it, you know, I think it's a really awesome rifle, uh, just in the Gundam uh, Wing universe. So, I was like, you know, how am I going to utilize this? I can do kind of like a downward, but I was like, you know, let's just go straight forward, um, you know, because I didn't really want to copy the uh, the Wing Zero Custom because I know that one shoots its um, its Buster rifle kind of like downwards in the OVA. So I was like, you know, let's just kind of like tilt it up on an angle and just keep it you know as, as forward as uh, possible uh, while keeping the lays kind of just spaced apart not really bent or anything um, and I didn't want to push the um, the thrusters you know like like kind of backwards as if it's being uh, pushed forward I just want to head you know headed uh, point them down so that way it kind of shows that he's kind of just like hovering in the air uh, while shooting you uh, <clears throat> while, while shooting the rifle so that's kind of like my thought process uh, when doing this pose in particular um, and when it comes to the third pose I don't really have anything as uh, special because I, I really think the first two poses that I did uh, are probably gonna be some of the better ones that I can pull off uh, but I, I will go ahead and attempt something really nice uh, with the third pose Okay, and here is the third and final pose. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of just display the shield. Um, I didn't really have much else uh, I can really do, to be honest. 
Uh, so slightly thrusting forward, um, you know, essentially with the shield in front, so that way he can go ahead and guard himself from uh, any incoming attacks. Uh, I just kept the double rifle in the hand because I think that's you know it looks good enough. Um, now you can all uh, you can obviously have it with uh, the beam saber, or if you want to go ahead and you know I don't know have an open hand or some other sort, uh, you can definitely do that as well. Uh, but I just went ahead and had him you know kind of grip the shield, thrust forward, and if he wants to shield bash, he can do that. Uh, or he's just gonna essentially use it as um, you know a slight defense mechanism, and then probably like thrust um, maybe on, on, on a flank, and then utilize the uh, the Dobra rifle or the beam saber, whatever you want to do. Okay, so that's pretty much about it uh, with all the poses. Um, now I, I don't really know if there's any time for a, a bonus pose or not. Uh, what, what, what do you think, Steve? Hell no. All right. Well, uh, see you later.